Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is the November wrap up and stats 2009 video. As I said, this is the November 2019. Did I say, I think I said 2009 in the, ooh, in the beginning there. It's 2019, yeah. We're about to end another decade and uh, we're about to end another year. Crazy, it feels like yes, just yes, yesterday that uh, I started doing these videos. But um, so as I do with every single monthly video, I'm just gonna give you guys my stats. You can always look in the description box if there is a specific section that you are looking for. Um, I have it broken down in sections and they are timestamped, as well as if you want to see all of the books in chronological order with their book covers, there is a slideshow at the end of this video. So, um, back to, uh, the fact that it's November and it's crazy. Um, once again, I had a phenomenal reading month. Um, I'm just gonna, like, jump into these stats because they're crazy and I got lots of things to do besides, uh, this video, which is coming out in December. So, if you have been watching the channel, you know that December is a huge and busy month for me. Uh, you guys will be getting so many videos that are just... Yes, loads and loads of recaps and things like that. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, I will have some affiliate links down in the description box like I always do. It costs you nothing extra, just gives a little bit of pennies into my pocket. Um, I also started a Patreon, which I am trying to do more behind the scenes and vlogs over there. So if you're interested in that type of content, please go over and support and donate over there. Uh, it is a little more time consuming, which is why I'm doing it on Patreon instead of just doing it here. Um, you're not really losing out on anything. I'm still doing three videos here. So, yeah. Anyways, back to November's reading. I read 45 books in the month of November. Yes. Once again, another stellar month of reading. Hello? What? That breaks down to 26 audiobooks, 19 ebooks, and 20 arcs. I didn't even look at what I had scheduled. I know that I went over and beyond what I actually had scheduled. That breaks down to 181 hours and 57 minutes of audiobooks and a total page count of 11,934 pages of mostly goodness. Yes. So let's check out these ratings for this month. Uh, I had two books that I DNF this month. I gave zero one stars this month. I two starred one book this month. I had four three star books this month. I had 23 four star books this month. And I had 15 five stars this month. For Blackout 2019 or uh, where I read black authors, I read... Between Here and Heartbreak, which is Forever Number 2 by Dylan Allen. Everything's Better with Lisa by Lucy Eden. The Rebel King, All the King's Men, Number 2 by Kennedy Ryan. Becoming by Michelle Obama. And The Bridal Suite by Rochelle Ayler's. Ayler's. For Romance genre -thon and the month of November, it was nonfiction, so I actually only read one book, which was Becoming by Michelle Obama. For the Romanceopoly board that I was, you know, doing, a uh, challenge that I was doing this month, or this year, this year, uh, I read Legacy by Vivianne, which completed my London Street Space, which was a steampunk novel, and A Pizza My Heart by Tegan Hunter, which fulfilled the Uptown Space, which was foodie or chef novel. For readathons that I participated in, I participated in I participated in Romance Opoliathon, which was held from November the 3rd through the 9th, and that was to catch up on any spaces that you have not 
completed and I had four spaces that I didn't that I hadn't completed yet and I completed two of those which you've already seen. I also participated in Buzzwordathon, which was held from November the 18th through the 24th, and the buzzword was uh, book titles that had numbers in them, so any title that had a number in it, and I read 21 Truths About Love by Matthew Dix, The Two-Week Arrangement by Kendall Ryan, Seven Nights of Sin by Kendall Ryan, and Irish on the Rocks, Murphy's Brother Number 2 by Megan Burden. I also participated in Contemporary Athon Weekend Edition, which was held November the 24th, November the 22nd through the 24th, which was to celebrate Chelsea and Julie's friendship. And that was just a weekend edition. I read five books for that, and those were I Wish on the Rocks by Megan Vernon, The Imperfect Guy by Letty Harper, The Mighty Anchor by Carrie Ahrens. Winter's Captive by Millie Tyndale and The Bridal Suite by Rochelle Ellers. On to a bookish news. I did have a release with the Read Bliss channel that was romances with main characters over the age of 35. So if you were looking for a mature uh, main character, please go check out that video. That link is down in the description box as long as well as the Read Bliss channel link. There is a new season for Read Me Romance. This makes it their fourth season and it's still going strong. It's still giving us some pretty amazing freaking novella, audiobooks, and lots of weekly banter, which I just completely enjoy. As I said in the beginning of this video, I started a Patreon page, which is more behind the scenes and vlog videos, and my Patreon shout out for this month goes to Amy M, Love in Panels, Lisa M, Chrissy W, Vigail R, Belky I, and India B. Thanks you guys for supporting, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content over there. For bookish events, I attended Indies Invade Philly, which I did a complete vlog for over on the Patreon page. So if you're interested in looking at that, please think about supporting and being able to see the entire experience of Indies Invade Philly. Now to the fun part, which is my top five reads for the month of November. And I'm going to start it off. These are in no particular order, as always. I'm going to start it off with Text Me Baby One More Time by Tegan Hunter. In this book for uh, the texting series, Let's see if I can get that out. For the texting series, you have a couple that knew each other when they were younger, had an attraction, sort of dated, but then someone did something very, very stupid. And when they're thrown sort of back into each other's orbits, they have to, you know, reestablish what they really wanted to, to be to each other, um, where their shortcomings came from. And I really love this. There is some awesome pop culture reference to the Marvel world of Bucky and Captain America. And I was just so here for this whole entire story. I loved it oh so much. The next book I'm going to talk about is The Rebel King, All the King's Men, number two, by Kennedy Ryan. This is the second book in this duet, and this is the culmination of these two characters that you met in in The Kingmaker uh, by Kennedy Ryan. I believe that was last month or maybe the month before that, but this is the culmination of these two characters' story. I can't say too much about what goes on in this book, uh, but it does really close off all of the little links and things like that. It gives tons of jaw dropping moments and you can definitely feel the inspiration uh, that Kennedy had with when it comes to Scandal, the television show, as well as giving you a lot of sort of historical uh, references that definitely are in today's limelight and today's uh, society and she handled them with care and it just really dragged you into the story even more which I absolutely love. 
The next book I'm going to talk about is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. This book caught me completely off guard. I received this as an ARC in the beginning of the year and just had not gotten a chance to read it. I finally sat down and read it and I absolutely loved it. This story follows Nina Hill who is sort of a introvert and she likes facts she likes her books she's very much a loner to herself while well, her mother was pretty much a flake when she was a kid and she was raised by someone else she didn't know her father and the just her discovery of family and what constitutes as a family um especially since it was uh she had to deal with the fact that her father passed didn't know her father so she was like eh who cares that he passed I really don't but the father was like I wanted to include you and give you something that you may not have known that you needed and it was just such a fabulous journey and then the love interest within this or the love story part of romance uh that was included into the story was so sweet and so much fun and it was witty and it was just really 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 enjoyable I really loved it and I definitely think you guys should go check that one out I would also like to talk about Dominate which is Harris Brothers number five by Amy Dawes this book is the second half to a duet in within a series. Um, this is about the older brother of the Harris brothers, and you really, or at least I, really was taken on an emotional ride through this story. It, the first one left off on sort of a cliffhanger, so this was sort of wrapping up everything that was going on along with all the other four books. You got to see all the characters mix and mingle. He's the oldest uh, brother of the group, and you really see how he ties this family together, and I just loved every single moment of this. Um, I ended up doing a complete vlog for the Harris Brothers series by Amy Dawes, and that will be coming out probably next week sometime. And the final book that I'm going to talk about for the month of November that I just absolutely loved and think you guys should need to go and check out is Loving Miss Sassy by A.M. Madden and Joanne Schwimm. We hadn't had a book um, for another book for this series for a little while now and I am so happy to have this book on this list and have been able to advance read this one. Um, Gianna, or our main female character, is the sister of two of the characters we have already met in this series. And the title is so perfect because our main character is so very sassy and independent and she wants to stand on her own, but at the same time she likes to have that security of um, her brothers, and it was just so good. I really, really loved it. I loved the banter between our main male and female characters and just really enjoyed this novel, and I think you guys should go check it out. Okay, so that is all of the categories in which I talk about. Um, if you already know the whole closing speech that I'm about to give, feel free to jump ahead to the slideshow so you can check out any of the books uh, that are in chronological order and there are slides to let you know which of the uh, connecting book review weeks you need to go check out to see if there's a book that or book cover that catches your eye so we'll see you guys in a bit but for those that are staying on and listening to the rest of this was there anything that I talked about in this video that you guys want a little bit more expound please let me know down in the comment section let me know some of your favorites um, from this month of November uh, I know I didn't read a whole bunch of nonfiction did you read a whole bunch of nonfiction let me know if there's a nonfiction book that I need to just totally pick up uh, because I just need to uh, down in the comments section as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a book thumbs up and there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel all my social information is down there as well thank you for watching and we will see you guys later